Today we are going to see the basic use of your observable but after the intro. Hey everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristic. So on this channel, you will get to know about all the frameworks, the languages, the concepts, all the algorithms. So please consider subscribing if you haven't yet. And about the today video, we're going to see how the basic of well, observable we used to use in, in our day-to-day -day life. Day-to-day -day life means in Angular. So in the last video, as you mm, already guessed from the title, it's, a, it's the part two. So please go, you know, please go ahead and watch the part one. If you haven't it, I will link it here. So in that video, I told that observable may not be completed. So the complete state may present or may not present, but I haven't shown you any example. So today in the first, we are going to do that. Then I will show you something else. So keep watching the video till the end. Okay, so uh, so a long life observable or, uh, or a like infinite life observable will be as a click event, right? Uh, so here in today's example, we'll try to, uh, we'll mimic a click event like we'll click somewhere in the page and we we'll try to get the uh, x value and the y value as i mean the x coordinate and the y coordinate in that page so that the client x and the client y so for that uh, i added a ob id here and as the, and this is the profile component dot html so all the things I'm doing in profile component so that it will be in a one place if it will good to refer and I'm adding a view child. So what view child will do is uh, it will grab that ID and grab the all the template parameter and make a reference of it. Okay. The why I'm giving a button is here, here I'm clicking the page to display the to log the X and Y element. So I thought as I'm clicking and returning some, so better to give a button, but that's not a button, that should be a coordinate or something, but let's go with the button. So, so for that, I'm importing the form event from the RSJX. So before, so if you go for the previous version of RSJS, so everything will are included in the observable. So you used to like observable dot form event now what they did is they separate all the things so that it will be easier and nicer to use so what form event will do is you you pass event to the form like uh, like you have a element in in your dom so you pass an event like i'm giving the button button is not, not, nothing but the id which fetched from the profile component dot html and we are giving the native element so the element of the button that means the whatever the accent the wrapped value and we are saying that on click of that trigger the event like so if you remember from the previous video trigger the event means trigger the next value so here we are triggering the event event has a multiple value Event has a mouse x mouse y that we are using here and a lot of lot of others values so what it will do it will wrap us observable on on click it will emit the next 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 value so we are subscribing to this observable that we are getting it from here and we are logging the mouse x and the mouse y coordinate okay so when i will go and and make a start here so you can check here i will zoom a little bit so wherever i'm clicking it is printing the uh, x coordinate y coordinate the observable is, is active now so it haven't ended yet so it's it will be stay active in the in the browser and uh, it can cause a problem further right so uh, in in the previous video also i explained that by default is it will complete it unsubscribe itself else we need to forcefully unsubscribe that observable to remove it from the memory so else it will be a very big mem memory leak. here you are using a click event but think if you have if you are accessing some big data and that 
data is going on infinitely and the memories keep on increasing so that will be a big issue so for that till the five second wait for the five second and then unsubscribe this event so what it will do is uh, till the five second the observer will stay active then it will go it will go go inactive again so i am clicking so it's working now now it's uh, i think it should stop here it stopped working now working means the logging <laughs> so it stopped logging the value that's it that means it's working and uh, so that's uh, how you unsubscribe a long life or infinite life uh, observable like here the click event so now we are going to see how you will handle a multiple type of data or a multiple stream of data like in the first video i saw that you have 0 1 2 3 value how are you going to handle if that 0 1 2 3 all of all the data are of different type type means suppose it's a json one value is json one value is number one value is a string one value is a another observable one value is a uh, something else so how you are going to um, process that one through observable or you have an array of data you have a stream of data how are you going to do that okay so for that suppose you have a data like this and which is coming to you and you want to handle that through a observable uh, so here uh, what I need to do I need to use a off method that is also from RxJ that is observable dot off if you from the older one observable dot off and you give some data so here we are going to directly going to use the observable I already imported that from the RxJ okay so here what will do I will assign that one so let OBS I am giving this value so we will give off the off method will return an observable and which will emit the value according to the data we given so first and next will be 23 second will be array object so the, the string array and the empty object so to to print the value as you know we need to subscribe to the observable and one thing i forgot to tell told you that observable is a lazy loaded so lazy loaded means uh from as you know from from the name you get that it's lazy to be loaded like uh, so till you haven't called it it will not load itself eagerly loaded means it is eager to load itself right that means eager lazy anyway you are lazy and you are you don't want to load till someone calls you so observable is the same like that till you haven't subscribed to that observable it will not tell the observer that give me the value so give me the next value i want to process it give, give, the, give me the value either it next or complete give me some value so that i will not so that uh, my subscriber will get the value so till you haven't hit subscribe to the observable it will not give the value the observable here and as it, it will not throw an error so we'll go ahead and directly print the data so now when you go that you, you will see that all the details are printed so as i told this is lazy loaded so when you subscribe to the observable then only it get called suppose this will be make help in a http call you want to make a parallel call or something you will define all the you make the all the observable of a http call then on on a go you will make all the calls and hit the data and face the data and you will do the rendering according to your or, or filtering or processing according to your need so in that case it will be pretty handy so th this is the basic about observable how to be used in our basic use to create observable so like here uh, we uh, click events so we can use that too as well like uh, you know, the uh, reactive form which is this kind of uh, observable so that will check the form event when a user is click so that's called the form the form event dot uh, value change uh, we get a observable you subscribe to that observable and you will get some validation according to that so that's it for today in the next video 
we'll uh, we'll see that the most important of the observable that is the multicasting so for a beginner it may require or may not be but uh, i think it's it's a pretty good concept so uh, suppose you have 100 data you want to emit those data and you have a 10 user and user can come anytime so it's not every user is coming at the same time user can come anytime but your data should be like one data is emitted that shouldn't be emitted again to another user so here you are subscribing it twice so you don't so the scenario should be like so for the scenario for the multicasting would be like so if you are uh, so i will rephrase it again you see that it's emitted first then after one second it's emitted again so all the data are emitted re-emitted like 23 so suppose 23 is emitted again it's got emitted to the second user after one second itself so uh, so suppose you want to emit 23 then whoever came after some time they will not get the 23 so that it's shared across all the users so now your data will not be for a single user your data is a shared uh, shared and which is emitted according to the time so whoever come first will get the, all the value and whoever come after some time like after five minutes you will get the value which is emitted at five minutes or after that so that we're going to say, say in the next video hit the like button if you like the video and subscribe to the channel and please give some comment your suggestion your opinion whatever you want to tell to me please comment it below and share the video among your friend we are going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye